Game Ranks presents another episode of Before You Buy, the show where we give you some straight up gameplay and some first impressions of the latest games releasing. As always, I'm Jake Baldino, and today we're here to talk about Abzu. This is a new, somewhat small game from the art director and music composer behind Journey. And right off the bat, I think you should know that this isn't going to be a game for every type of gamer, but the ones it is for, holy shit, I think you're gonna love it. What Abzu really is, is an experience-based, music-driven, linear exploration type of adventure game with open areas, but it's all very simple and very beautiful. Look, it already came up, so I think it is worth mentioning, Abzu is like Journey. I'm gonna compare it to Journey a lot. Is that fair? I don't know. Some people probably won't like that comparison, but it's the best way, I think, to compare it to Journey because of the specific type of game it is, and some people are going to absolutely love it, and some people aren't really going to be moved by it at all. But ultimately, I'm comparing it to Journey because it's extremely similar, but personally, I think it's better. So what it is is kind of like a relaxed, chill, aquatic undersea adventure. You start in the ocean as a character who, I guess, maybe is female, and they are a diver, and they do not run out of air, and you basically swim around the ocean and swim deeper and deeper and discover things. The controls are very simple, there's not much to it. There is a dive button, a speed up and swim button, and a little context sensitive interact slash sound making button. It's kind of like a chirp button. So there's a lot of things in this game. While it is linear, there are big open ocean areas to explore and look around, lots of things to do. There's little animal collectible things, hidden areas to discover, points to activate, places to meditate and actually like activate this viewer to just kind of observe the ocean life. You swim around, you look at things, you go deeper, you discover things, you ride on fish, and you basically progress from one area to the next. But what really makes this all special is the visuals and the music. The way this game looks, you guys can probably tell, it runs very smooth and it looks absolutely gorgeous. There's a huge emphasis on color and detail, but what I think is definitely the most impressive are sometimes the amount of fish that they can put on screen. You are going to encounter huge schools of fish and it gets pretty freaking intense, it's really cool. But the music here is the best part and I think it's worth experiencing. The music here is completely recorded by a live orchestra and it makes a hell of a difference. I think there's a lot of influences here from just cinematic stuff you hear in movies, to a little bit of the classic Tomb Raider games, and definitely a lot of influence from Zelda. It's really pretty great, and as soon as I finished the game, I immediately downloaded the soundtrack. The music here makes for some really unique moments where the music is always timed perfectly. The, you know, the music will swell during a specific point in the game, and it just nails the timing of scenes, and it makes things just feel more emotional. But I mentioned scenes, and I gotta say that there is a surprising amount of scene variety here in this game. If you think you're just swimming in the ocean looking at fish, there's a little bit more to it. There's a lot to experience. You go deep down into the bottom of the sea, secret creepy underground caves, ruins, colorful coral reef areas, and then you're just getting into all different types of situations. Swimming through a slipstream with a bunch of dolphins at your side. Then you might go deep sea diving and dancing around with whales. To some other things that I don't really want to cover in this video because I don't want to spoil anything, but the game does do a really good job of straddling the line between supernatural and semi-sci-fi elements without really going too far one way or another. But I think while you are doing all this hippy-dippy exploration stuff, it's worth mentioning that the swimming is actually genuine fun. Swimming, diving, and flipping around never gets old, I think because of the control scheme. While it all is very simple and there's not really a lot of challenge to the game, the control scheme here though does really make it fun because there's like a boost button and it's kind of like jumping in Super Mario 64 where you do the one hop, the two hop, and then the big flip. As long as you time it right, you get that boost. It's the same thing in Abzu here. When you do that, you can get a good swimming boost. And what makes it a lot of fun is that you can kind of swim around and glide and there's a button you can hold where you can tumble around. So basically you can kind of like almost make your own freeform kind of weird graceful swimming. And especially when you get to the surface, you can swim around at top speed, hit the surface, jump out of the water and do a flip. And sometimes fish will follow you. And I gotta say, that's fucking awesome. And it's really fun and it never gets old. It always gives you that triumphant free willy moment, or it almost feels like the never ending story when you're riding on a Treyu and you're like, yeah, it's just a damn good fun little experience. And as someone who never really cared about the ocean, I had a lot of fun here. Now I do like a lot of things about this game, but of course, if I say like too many things about the game, people are gonna think I was paid to say this. But there are some cons to Abzu, and first off, and again, I'm comparing it to Journey. For some people, it may come off a bit too similar to Journey. You know, you can argue elements of it don't try hard enough to really go out and do its own thing. And while that can be pretty lame, I do think the last few scenes do do enough different things to kind of stand out that I had a good time with it. Uh, also, it's worth noting that the game is not challenging at all. There's no difficulty. You can't really die or anything. And it's definitely lonely. If you're looking for something like Journey, 
where you get the experience with another online player that you never really speak to. You're not getting any of that here. This is a completely lonely single player adventure. And also the elephant, I guess maybe the whale in the room is the length, okay? Abzu is super, super short. It's, it's cheap, but it is very short. You can blast through it in two, two and a half hours. Depending on what type of game player you are, there is a ton of stuff to explore, but ultimately you're gonna find yourself drawn to progressing. And for some people, that short of a game length, they're just not gonna wanna have it. Personally, for me, this is like inside. I haven't said this for a lot of games recently, but as soon as I finished it, I wanted to go back and play it again because, you know, the experience is really short. It's an easy platinum if you're on PlayStation, and I just, I really enjoyed it. So if you do like those kind of experiences and you do like stuff like Journey, I think this is a little bit more fun because of the swimming and the jumping and the fast pace sequences that I think some players are gonna find a lot to love here. Sure, it's not perfect and some people are going to hate this game, but for players to just really dig a cool experience, a relaxing gameplay experience that is just well made and the people behind it really had passion and talent, then Abzu is something definitely worth experiencing. But of course guys, I have given you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and some of my personal opinion, and I want to know in the comments what you guys think about this game. We've showed you a ton of gameplay here, but I didn't want to spoil much because a lot more goes on in the second half of the game, so regardless, I just want to know what you think if you've seen the gameplay, or if you've already jumped in and played it yourself, let's talk about Abzu down in the comments. If you have any more questions about it, ask me in the comments, or ask me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those places, at Jake Baldino as well. I'm always there. You guys know the deal, if you enjoy before you buy videos, we want to do more and more. Sorry we missed some games here and there, but I'm trying to crank them out as quick as I can, so clicking the like button is the best way you can help me out. And if this is your first time here, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.